good afternoon. Today we're going to do a training video today. And what we're going to train is, I know you guys have seen me use these a lot. And these are what we call skates. And we use these for when people's keep, they lose their keys in their cars, or their cars won't come out of park, and we got to drag them. It makes them so much easier. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to properly use these things. I'm not going to strap the car down. I'm not going to go through all that. I'm just going to show you how to use these and get them on and off your truck. And yes, this is my personal one of my personal vehicles. to these kind of cars. Now the trick to these things is we're going to put them in a tire and what we want to do is we want the tire right up over the top of these and then they slide. That's why we call them skates. It makes it so much easier to load them. I chose this vehicle because it's one-wheel drive. It's actually harder to do. Just put them in front of the tire. Try to get them as center as you can. Give them a little slap in. I want you guys to see how the thing just goes up on there and drags. I'm not going to go through all that, but getting this off because this is a wheel drive is a lot more uh, things you got to do. A lot of people use dish soap, they use WD-40, they use whatever they got. Anyway, like I was saying, a lot of people like using dish soap, whatever they got. I like using chain lube. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but I always got it because I've greasing up the doors of the trucks and doing different things with it. Just take and spray some of this on there. Put it on the back side of the tire. Give a good slap in there and just spray down the bed some. Then we on this side. Boy, my chain loop went bad. Oh, man. 
messed up already. Sorry about that, but what you want to do, take that off. I'm going to pull it up where the truck starts to slide. Then you want to put these underneath the tire. Sorry, it's been a long day. So that way when you release the cable, the tires will roll back on top of them slides and the skates will slide down. Sometimes. Sometimes they'll come to a stop like that. This one come off real easy because I put all that glue on it. You see it's off. So what you can do here is go ahead and release the cable and ask where you can unhook it. But you know it ain't gonna go nowhere now because it came to a complete stop. That's the other reason why I like that chain loop, because it makes it so freaking slick. Usually, most of the time when you do a car, they usually stop up in here somewhere, and then you gotta drive from underneath of them. But this one didn't do it. We'll just take this bed, pull it down, and Now the fun part of this whole deal is, since they came back on the skates, they get buried underneath the tires. And they become real hard to get out. The way to do that is just take them to the side and they'll come right out. And there it is. And you're done. You're out of here. You're done with your job. Go get paid. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.